Yo, it's Lux from Server Pro, and welcome to this tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to install and use the WorldGuard plugin for the Bedrock version of Minecraft. WorldGuard allows you to create regions and set different flags for the regions, which allows or disallows the player to do certain things. This is a plugin for the Bedrock version, however please ensure that you're running the PocketMine server type. Note that this plugin is also a port of the original WorldGuard plugin for Minecraft Java. Okay, now head over to the link in the description, which will open up this page. This is where you'll download the plugin from. Right click the direct download button and select copy link address. Because this is a direct download, you can download it straight to our server pro panel. Find your way into the plugins folder on the panel, press the upload file button and then upload from web right here. Paste the link you just copied and press the upload button. The plugin should automatically download for you. Now restart your server and you're ready to go. There aren't really any configs for this plugin yet as it's very new. However, the core functionality of it is the same. To create a region, type in slash region create and then the region name. You will now be asked to right click two points on the map in which you want the region to be created in. The first one should be the lower corner of the region and in the opposite top corner. This will make a cuboid region, meaning that it won't go all the way from bedrock to the top of the sky. It will only be within the two point coordinates. To list all the coordinates, type in slash region list, and as you can see, here's our region here. You can list flags for a specific region with slash region flags, get, and then the region name. To set and change the flags, type in slash region flags set, then the region name, which is test one, then the flag name, and then the option for the flag. A lot of the time it will either be true or false or a specific ID. This will disable PVP in this specific region. There are many more flags, flags such as having certain potion effects within the region, allowing or blocking any commands, toggling flight mode, and many more. If you want to get a full list, check out the wiki page, which I'll link in the description. There's also a tutorial for you on how to use the plugin. This plugin also allows for permissions, of course, and you can even create certain regions where only certain groups or players are able to enter the region using the permissions. Another thing you can do is create sub-regions. To do this, create a region within another region and type slash region flags set, then the region name, priority, and then the priority value. By default, this number is zero, but I'm going to set it as one since I want this new region to have the priority over the old one. Now, because this new region has a higher priority, this means that all the flags will take priority as well. For example, let's say I don't want PVP in the first region we created, but I do want PVP in the second. You can disable it in the first one and then enable it in the second one. Because the test two region has a higher priority number, the flags will take priority, meaning that the PVP will be enabled in region test two, even though it is disabled in region test one. Apart from that, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any plugin suggestions, leave them down in the comments below. And if you have any issues with anything, contact our support team. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.